Hey guys and welcome back to Rainbow Inc. Today is another Disney Bound Friday. Today we are doing Scrooge McDuck and I guess April is just the month of grumpy old men. It's very hilarious to think like what two years ago maybe three that April was the month of the ducks that whole thing back then so there's that and since we're doing Scrooge McDuck today there is a couple of different iterations of him. I plan on doing the one from 1987's version of DuckTales instead of 2017's DuckTales. Like I've been doing with all the other, well, ducks. The three triplets, Donald, even Daisy, that sort of thing. So we're gonna stick with that theme. Maybe in the future um, you might get a Disney Bound redo of him, because in my opinion he's the one who's most likely gonna get a Disney Bound redo out of anyone. So there's that. We do have a full outfit today, so thankfully our streak keeps going on in Disney Bounds. It started with Fix Felix, and if you also count the Disney Bound redo of Wanna Max Moth, even if you don't, it's still technically we're on a streak. So hopefully by me saying that, I don't jinx us. Or well, jinx me, per se. So yeah, anything I was used in past Disney Bounds, there'll be a card right there, and also in the link description below if you like to check it out, as well to see how I used it in that past video. One thing I do want to note is before I show you what I have, the way I usually like present the items is going to be a little bit messed up today on how the layering is going to happen, because we are layering today, so there's that as well. So I apologize for how I show off the items if it seems a little strange and like out of order than how I normally do it, so I apologize for that. Anyways, let's see what I have for this Disney Bound by working our way up, starting with the shoes. And today, and like in the Scarlet Witch Disney Bound Redo, I finally get to use one of the three sets of pair of shoes that I got for Christmas, and that video was the red ones. And this video is the yellow ones! <laughs> I finally get to use the yellow flats that I got for Christmas. If I ever redo any character that has yellow feet, I finally have yellow shoes to do it. I'm so happy they're just yellow flat shoes. They're making their Disney Bound debut in Scrooge McDuck. Okay, so next up, since he is, well, a white duck, his legs are white, so I have a pair of white leggings here. They're long-legged leggings. I've used these dozens and dozens of times before I've used but anyways, the last time I used these ones wasn't sadly on a duck, it was on a space man, which was Buzz Lightyear. Up there, also in the description below if you want to check out how I used them in that one. Okay, so next up, I have this long sleeve button-down colored red shirt because the shirt that he wears under his blue jacket, we'll get to there in a minute, is a red long sleeve where you can only, I know, see his cuffs and the collar. This is pretty much what it's going to be represented for. Is this a little overkill? Yes. If Does this make me happy that I'm getting details? Yes. Am I going to probably look stupid in this? Yes. But this is how it works. If you do Scrooge McDuck, it's your choice if you want to wear a collar shirt underneath with it or not. Or if you want, you can just wear a plain red shirt and just have the jacket unzipped a little bit. So you can at least see the collar of the shirt, even if it's not this kind of collar. So there's that. This is new and it's making it to bound debut. <laughs> okay, so I said we would talk about the jacket here in a minute. And here it is. It is a long sleeve zip up jacket and yes it has a hood. I'm not going to probably be using the hood too much. But yeah, this is going to represent his blue jacket that he wears. It's mostly going to be zipped up since I have the collar on, well, my collar and I'm going to have the sleeves poking out on the ends of here. So there's that. It does have pockets, which you always need pockets. Last time this hoodie was used was in Honest Sean up there also in the description below. Okay, so this is where we're kind of going to get out of whack of the presenting, like I was talking about earlier, because our next piece of item is this red belt that I've used half a dozen times before. I actually made this belt out of fabric that I plan on putting around the blue jacket to like up here on my stomach or on the hem of my pants. So that's why it, this seems a little bit out of sorts. It's mainly because of this item, but hey, it's still going over the jacket, so there's that. I have used this belt before. Last time I used it was in the Evil Queen. Up there, it was in the description below. And finally, for his black top hat, I couldn't find a top hat, but thankfully I had a black beanie. It's just, well, a black beanie 
to represent his, well, top hat. And this has never been used before, so there's that. Alright, that was the last item. If you do this Dizzy Bone, it's however you want to do it in your own way, whether you want to do the 87 version, like I'm doing now, or the 2017 version, which again, I might do a Dizzy Bell redo on it. Might. But anyways, that's what I have. Let's see how it all looks together. Alright, here I am at Scrooge McDuck. That was a little fun prop. We're using a dime for the thumbnail. That's hilarious. Because <laughs> get it as number one dime. Anyways, here I am at Scrooge McDuck from the 87 versions of DuckTales. Yeah, anyways. Alright, here are the shoes. Thankfully today I remember to wear white socks to go with it since his legs are white. I don't have yellow socks to me. But anyways, here are the yellow shoes. They're just yellow flats that I finally get to wear. Yay! Shoes! I'm wearing the leggings for his white bottom or legs. That really doesn't sound great, I guess. Have the jacket with the pockets and the bow. I put it a little bit over my stomach, but still where I can put my hands in my pockets if need to be. I have the details of the red shirt, aka the collar, and the sleeves. And also I'm wearing the beanie and I realize this beanie is a little bit small so I took my hair out of my ponytail so we just have my hair out um, normally. So there's a, you guys tell me in the comments below if this was a good Disney Mount or a bad Disney Mount. Again, I might do a Disney Mount redo of this character and again if you decide to do this character it's your decision if you want to do the 87 version or the 2017 version. So yeah, let's pull our next character. Hopefully it's not another grumpy old man. I think I got one. Okay, so thankfully, it's not another crotchety old man. <laughs> I love how I just say that. Um, Charlotte Lippa, hopefully I'm saying that right, from Princess and the Frog. Ugh, how am I gonna do that one? Well, you have to come back here in two weeks to see how I do a Disney Island of Charlotte LaBeouf, hopefully I'm saying that right, from Princess and the Frog. Please make sure to like and subscribe and all the beautiful jazz. Last video right there, subscribe right beneath me, and also a playlist of other Disney mounts are right there. Also, be in the link description below, along with a Disney playlist and this year's Disney playlist of 2023. And I'll see you guys next time here on my link. Bye!